Good morning everybody. Well, good afternoon. <laughs> Yesterday we had the most beautiful, beautiful party at the garden and the most amazing concert in the church next door. I still can't believe how beautiful it was and it was for free, just organized by our commune. And the voice, this guy's voice, it, it was amazing and the acoustic in the in the church it's gorgeous i can't believe how lucky we are and um, i think that will be new tradition of the house because this concert is every year because it's some special day of some saint of the church da, 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 and the church is always closed they open it twice a year uh, for special occasions so yeah, I think August party is a good tradition to start. <laughs> and, um, well, first for today, we'll be to clear the garden and see what have been left there, because I have no idea. It was dark yesterday. We tried to clear the garden and the summer kitchen, but I don't think we've done a good job. So first thing is to go there and clear everything. And the other project for today will be to finish the bathroom. I really want to finish bath bathroom today. Let's look at the garden. It's not that bad, actually. It is not bad at all. <laughs> I think we've done a good job yesterday night. Okay, have to go down there and check the summer kitchen. <laughs> left <laughs> I think we need another party to enjoy the flowers and the leftovers of the food but mainly of the flowers we have to run another party so we can properly enjoy them again <laughs> oh I can't believe all that comes from the garden oh, I'm the happiest person on the planet the happiest just look at that isn't that beautiful And you know, I love flowers and plants. And yesterday, I think I received the most extraordinary, extraordinary the most beautiful bouquet ever. Just look at that. Ta-da! This is my treasure <laughs> and present from lovely friends. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? Whee! So these leave under the water. And um, I've been told that this, they bloom with little white flowers. <gasps> Ooh, I think our little pond will be soon very too, too little, too small for everything I want to put here and for everything I already got there. But definitely this is the most beautiful bouquet ever. I'm in my happy place. <laughs> introducing new plants to the pond look how gorgeous it is it is so delicate it's huge i need a bigger pond i do need a bigger pond look it is gorgeous look at the color oh so pretty okay let's put it in water and then the hardy geraniums are blooming now, so pretty. And I have discovered uh, that they do prefer living in shady corners, surrounded by other plants, like this one. And the ones that are too exposed to the sun, they're not happy at all. And here's another plant that was a wonderful gift from from our patron and visitor Mara from Germany and it is blooming now. Look at this, it is so pretty. So pretty. Oh. I'm facing my worst nightmare. <gasps> that! And just a second ago, it was on the toilet. 
just where I can't really see it. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Well, we have to get rid of this thing. <laughs> oh, you know how I don't like things like that, especially when they're really close to me. Ooh. Well, I will leave it. Oh, it's moving. Okay, I hope it doesn't jump on me. No, it, it is moving towards me. <clears throat> okay, what I wanted to do is um, to share with you my experience of painting this mural in the bathroom because today will be the last day I'm painting it. Uh, well, no, there will be a ceiling left. Uh, I'm I'm painting until here because here in the middle of the ceiling, of the vaulted ceiling, we have um, we have to fix the, the. Oh my God! It is moving. Uh, maybe she thinks it's a garden and she can jump on the trees and <laughs> live here, but it is not. You have to move out of here. Go away. Um, so we have to fix this uh, this thing, so that will be for later. Uh, I will finish walls now. Uh, I have just two walls left and I thought I will show you um, how I make it step by step. Uh, the first step is easy to prepare the walls, to sand them and I'm painting just a rough uh, rendered walls they have all the imperfections and the texture you can see um, it is fine for me i i love it actually because it gives this feeling that the wall is old it's not perfect it, it gives character to the room so i really like it and i have chosen two colors uh, my inspiration for that of obviously was the were the murals in rome i made a research and there were so many frescoes that i liked but i i kept coming back to this one uh, it's just there is something about the movement of the trees and apple trees i don't know i love it Especially we have a queen's apple tree just outside of the window, uh, really close to the bathroom. So I, I chose uh, this mural as an inspiration for my mural. And here it is. <laughs> uh, first, I thought I, will, I would add some color, green color to the leaves, um, some color to the apples. But then when I started, actually, I think two colors is more than enough. It's just less is more and I have to stick to simple things. Um, and I think it looks really nice. It is really, really nice. And it gives this um, shake to the bathroom. It works well with the vaulted ceiling because it is a grotto-like bathroom. And yeah, look at that. Oh, it works so well here. I love it. And uh, then the first step of painting is very easy, very simple. Um, I painted half of the wall in dark color and half of the wall in bright color. And the colors that I'm using, because I think some of you were interested in, in the paint. And um, this is just the basic paint uh, that we have here available in the Brico. And uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, this Pittura Lavable, that means it's extra, uh, it's breathable and uh, washable. And uh, da -da -da -da, it's, oh my God, oh, I'm scared. It's animal here. Um, <laughs> Uh, what I was talking about, I don't know. Yeah, the paint. And uh, da -da -da, it's matte and nice. I'm just painting one coat. I don't do any other coats, just straight away with the color. One coat on the wall and it's, it's enough. Uh, I'll share with you the numbers for the paint. Uh, for the dark one, we have... We have... Uh, ba -ba -ba. 
whatever it is i think yeah the first the first this is number for the paint yes for the color and uh, then we have this one and the light one this is it but it can work with any any colors you like even black and white you can do the same effect um yeah and uh, i've done this wall um two days ago it is now dry you can see, you see you don't have to blend in straight away you can leave it like that uh, here i started on uh, on the day of painting here i blended two colors together but now i will have to continue blending colors here and i will just uh, apply more light color more dark color and i will go with brush like that just blending and mixing color on the wall and um, this is the effect what i want to achieve this is good for me uh, when i have that done i can start with painting the trees and uh, with the trees i'm starting what well, i'm trying to uh, cover this seam <laughs> this um, where two colors meet together uh, i'm trying to paint with light color on the dark with dark on on light color trying to cover and mix and make this really really smooth transition in between two colors uh, yeah and i'll show you how that, that can be tricky <laughs> i'll show you how i do that i'm adding some water so the paint isn't that thick with the trees now and what I'm trying to achieve so when the brush is too dry it looks like well actually at least I like this um, this is perfect for me it's just transparent and uh, soft I like this effect I, I don't really like that part I think it is too rough, but I will leave it like that. I'm I'm not picky, but uh, it's just I'm trying to do this effect, so it's all mixed and um, blended in soft, and I like it here. You can't even tell if it's dark on light or light color on dark. It's like mixed. This part I don't really like much because you can see the difference and it's not that much blended. Actually, I might come back to this part and work better with the brush, just blending in, adding some transparent um, dark color on here, just, yeah. Uh, for, for painting trees, I'm using those brushes, I got them at just at Brico. These are very cheap, simple brushes. Uh, let's see what they... It doesn't say anything actually, and no number. But you can see more or less the size of the brush. Just maybe like my thumb. And the other one is maybe twice smaller. And you can see, I'm not really taking good care of my tools. <laughs> I'm very naughty. And then what I'm doing is I'm just taking some dark paint and some more paint here. some light paint next to it so I 
you can just mix them as I like on this plate and it looks something like that I think that will be that will be it let's try and da -da -da, let's see oh yeah so this is actually too dark I'll just get some more white paint and yes this is it uh, and I will start somewhere here at the top with the first branch and then I will be moving down with the trunk and other branches around it runny and watery paint and it takes some time when you first start it takes some time to get used to the brush but after half an hour you really go so much faster The walls in the bathroom are done. Extremely happy I am. <laughs> now this corner is left for tiling and tiles will be delivered tomorrow. And I do hope I will be they will deliver a, them in the morning so I can pick them up and drive here to Oro and tile the shower. At least start, yes, at least start tomorrow. And yeah, that will be a very, very good step forward because once we have tiled shower, we can start using it. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's all done. Now the, the ceiling is left here. For Sergi. <laughs> um, yeah, but the rest is done. It is so good. Well, I have to cut this box and install the buttons, but that can wait. It's not urgent. Also, the toilet is working now, but it is not attached. To, to the floor, we have to, so I need Sergio's help, it's two people job, I think, to screw it to the floor. And actually, I'm not happy about the design of this toilet. Um, it's supposed to go to the wall, but I don't know why they have designed it this way. This part, it doesn't let you, so it goes much further this way so the toilet don't actually 
touches the, the wall. This is quite strange. Well, anyway, it is what it is. This is my dream bathroom, so good. Um, and the bathtub uh, is actually a bit challenging project. Now I have response. I have response from one person, and uh, he has the right size bathtub. Actually, very pretty, and not far from us. So I will try now. I'll speak to Sergei, and we will see if we can uh, run. Um, then and go and pick up the, the bathtub but i think it is gorgeous i'll show you a picture but i think i've shown you already too many pictures because we started searching for the bathtub and we still can't find so i'm not sure this one will be the one but this is option now and i actually really love it and um, something not really good happened a few days ago um remember this uh vintage um basing the um, the table with basing with marble top that i found at the charity shop which was perfect and the only valuable thing about this um piece of furniture was the marble top uh, which is perfect color for our bathroom and then a few days ago it broke so I kept all the pieces. This is heartbreaking, <laughs> but um, I hope I can glue it together and uh, we, I hope we can still use it. So yeah, that will be project for next week. <laughs> and um, I think I have to, I really want to get ready for tiling. So I'll go now to buy the tile glue. I need a um, dark one because the tiles will be black. <laughs> Quite excited to see them in real life. We ordered them online. I saw them in the shop uh, on the display. But I really want to see them in the bathroom, how they go together with the murals and everything. So for tiling, I need dark tile glue. Perfect, the glue is here. Now, bring this down into the house and hopefully tomorrow I can use it. Hope And hopefully it's enough. Well, well, I hope it is enough. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't look like enough, but we will see, we will see how it goes.